Digitalization is without a doubt advancing in all areas. And there are countless good reasons why we strive to use, further explore and expand online assessment formats. To name just a few, assessments can become more efficient, more economical and even more competence-oriented through digital formats if, and here is the key point, they support the didactic goal. There will always be assessment formats or contents that are not suitable for any digital alternative. And it is definitely not the goal to digitalize assessments in a holistic way without paying attention to individual requirements and objectives. Online assessments are certainly possible almost everywhere, but they do not make sense everywhere. Without a doubt, analog assessments also have strengths over digital formats in some areas, especially regarding practical tasks and competences, and thus they definitely continue to have a right to exist. Theoretically, this would be possible in many cases, at least from a technical perspective. However, I wouldn't recommend it as a general approach. Why? Because online assessments are not a translation of traditional assessments, but independent formats. They have their own organizational, technical and didactic conditions, possibilities and limits. You should always ask yourself, why should I switch to a digital format? In general, it is very important to check at first. Can the digital format still meet the requirements of valid and accurate assessment? In order to make it work, we sometimes have to adjust the concept and the questions. In the best case, the motivation to switch to a digital format is not extrinsic, but intrinsic. By that I mean that the didactic concept should be enhanced with the possibilities of an online assessment. To summarize, it is often possible to simply transform analog assessments into online assessments. However, you should always ask yourself whether this makes sense. From a didactic point of view, a mere transfer is rarely the best way to go. From a didactic perspective, online assessments are inferior to analog assessments. This misconception refers to the assumption that online assessments hardly go beyond the cognitive processes of remembering and understanding. This is often based on the wrong idea that online assessments can be evaluated purely automatically and therefore have to consist of single and multiple choice questions only. Such question types are often perceived as inferior and placed at low levels of competence. This is definitely not the case for several reasons. For one thing, multiple choice questions are by no means limited to low competence levels, if designed correctly. And for another thing, the variety of question types in online assessment is increasing rapidly. Many disciplines benefit from newly designed question types that significantly enhance the competence orientation. For example, students of computer science can program their source code realistically and on their own device. Or students of medicine can work with high-resolution photographs or video recordings of surgeries. Thank you.